What's good fam? As you know by now, the MPC 2.11 update has been released and in this video, we're going to do a full installation walkthrough and I'm going to show you everything that you need to do step by step in order to get this done. So let's go ahead and get into it. Follow me. All right, so the first thing that we need to do from here is go to our Akai account and we're going to log in and download the new version of the update. So we're on the Akai Pro website. We're going to go to account. Let's go ahead and get signed in. And now we can go down to our registered products. If you have multiple devices like I do, then any one of them will have the new update. So we're going to go to our MPC Live 2 and we're going to click view downloads. And from here, we're going to go to the MPC 2.11 firmware update. Now inside this firmware update, there are different versions. You will need to select the one that you need. Now for standalone, we are going to go to the 2.11 update USB. So I'm going to click on that and download that. Okay, now that we have the update downloaded, I'm going to open up my MPC USB SD card. So this SD card is connected to my computer at this time. And I'm going to copy the 2.11 update to the SD card just like this. All right, now that we have the update copied to the SD card, I'm going to eject the SD card out of the computer and put it into the back of the MPC Live 2. Okay, so now we have the update on this SD card and we're gonna put that into the back of the Live 2 and we'll move from there. Now the SD card is connected to the MPC and we're gonna to go to menu. Then we're gonna to go to the cog wheel now you want to make sure you're on the info screen and you're going to tap update in the bottom right corner. Once you tap update, you're going to select USB drive update. The MPC will recognize it. It says this drive contains firmware update 2.11 for the MPC. You are currently running version 2.10.1. Do you want to upgrade now? And you select upgrade. And once you select upgrade, you will have to confirm your choice. And then from there, just wait on the update to complete. Now that the update has been completed, you will get to this new screen. It says, welcome to the MPC. And this is the screen alerting you to connect your MPC to Wi-Fi so that you can check uh, for future updates. And it's a nice looking addition to the MPC software, this new splash screen. Let's go ahead and tap, let's go. Now we're gonna select an empty project. Now from here, we're going to go have a look at adding and updating the new software instruments if you choose to purchase these. Now I know that these software instruments are a bit on the pricey side, but they do work in standalone and it does give you a lot of options if you want to work solely in standalone and away from the computer without any other attachments. So now that we have the new update installed, we're going to go back to our menu. And inside the new update, the preferences has been moved from the cogwheel to the bottom right corner. So now we're gonna go to preferences. Now inside preferences, we're gonna go to activate plugins. Now here's the part that's been tricky for a lot of people. So you wanna tap log in. Some people seem to think that it's just thinking and it's trying to log in and it's stuck. That is totally not the case. What you need to do is use your cell phone at this point and you'll want to scan the QR code and that will take you to a secure MPC page where you will have to log in on your phone into your Akai account. Now, once you have successfully logged into your account, as you see, all of the instruments available to you will show up on the MPC device. If you have already purchased your MPC standalone plugins, you will enter the serial numbers here and assign the drive that you want these plugins installed on. I'm going to change my preferred installation drive and we're going to change that to the MPC Live 2 internal SSD drive.
So now I have my MPC SD drive selected, which is a two terabyte SSD drive. And now we are going to activate and install these plugins. Now from here, if you did not have these plugins already installed on your MPC, there would be download icons right here and you would tap all of those to download the plugins directly to the MPC. I already have them on the drive, so I don't have to do that at this time, but that is another step that you will have to do in order to make sure that the content for these plugins is installed on your MPC drive, whether that's your SD card, an internal hard drive, or some other type of storage. Now, from this point on, it is recommended that if the plugins do not work, after installation that you may have to restart your MPC and then they'll work from there on. So we're gonna go to our main screen and let's test one of these plugins to make sure that it's working. We just selected Fabric XL. And as you can see in standalone, it is working perfectly. Now let's move on to updating the MPC 2.11 software on the computer. So we're going to move to the desktop version now. And so again, the same thing, you want to make sure that you're logged into your Akai account and you want to select the version that is right for you, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. Now there is a separate section if you want to use the PC or the Mac update to update the desktop software version. So you'll want to scroll down on the page toward the bottom and you'll see at the bottom 2.11 desktop software and MPC synth content manager. So first we're going to click on the 2.11 desktop software and we're going to scroll down and select the MPC2 installer for the Mac. Now that we have the MPC 2.11 installer for the Mac downloaded, we're going to open that. It says this is an app downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? And we're going to select open. And here we are with the 2.11 updater. If you have an MPC, you will want to select the MPC that you're using with the 2.11 desktop software. In my case, it is not the MPC Live 2. We will be using the MPC X and potentially the MPC keys in the next couple of days, but we're gonna start out with the MPCX. You just click on update MPC software and walk through the installation process, which is very simple. You can read all that if you want. I don't really need to, and you don't necessarily need to change any of this unless you don't want some of this stuff on the computer. I tend to keep it all because I do have other DAWs and I like to be able to use some of the different various types if I need to at times. For instance, if I'm using Pro Tools or Logic or something that requires a different variation of a plugin type. So let's hit continue and install. Pretty painless, right? So now that we have that installed, we can now run the new version of the MPC software but this will not have the synth content just yet. So now we want to go back into our Akai account and I'm going to download the synth content manager for Mac. Exact same process. Okay, we now have the synth content manager downloaded and we're going to open that up. Now on the Mac, it'll ask you if you want to move it to applications for future use. I'm going to select yes. And now here we have the new Akai synth content manager. Now from here, this is where you will install the synth content and this only applies for the desktop software. This does not apply for standalone. This only applies to the desktop software version of the MPC software. So I already have these installed so I don't have to reinstall it. But if you do want to put these instruments on your PC or your Mac, this is what you will need to do so. Now, at this time, we do have the MPC Live updated. We also have the MPC Desktop software updated. And now we're going to move to updating the MPC X simply by removing the SD card out of the MPC Live 2. And we're going to take this SD card and place it into the MPC X. 
Now that we have the SD card inside the MPCX, we're going to go to an empty project on the MPCX. The MPCX is currently in controller mode, but we're going to switch it into standalone. So I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to tap the computer icon at the top. And we're going to tap standalone at the bottom of the screen and wait for the MPC to switch to standalone operation. Now, once we're inside the MPC and standalone, I'm going to select an empty project. I'm going to hit menu. I'm going to go to preferences. And this is the beta version of the software. I'm going to update it to the official version now. Same process as the MPC Live 2. I'm going to select update, USB drive update, and reinstall. This is a very simple process. Also, installing this for the MPC one is exactly the same. The only difference is the MPC live one does not have an internal hard drive option, but you can use USB drives for the MPC one, or you can use it directly from an SD card. Simply plug the SD card in and leave it there. And that's all you will have to do. Now, in order for the additional synth content instruments, if you decide to purchase those, you will need to have an SD card or a USB SSD drive connected to the MPC or a flash drive of some sort in order to use that content and it must be plugged in at all times or it will not work. That applies to the MPC one only. The MPC X and the MPC Live 2 can have internal SSDs installed along with the SD card and the flash drive options. Now, as you can see, the MPC X uh, did complete the update process. Now we're going to go into our menu and we're going to go to preferences and we're going to go to activate plugins and we see all of the plugins are still activated and running. So we shouldn't have to do anything else there. Now for me, I always like to have my MPC X in controller mode because I like the options that I have in controller mode better than standalone. So now that I have the MPC X updated, we're going to switch it back into controller mode. So I'm going to hit menu and I'm going to tap this computer chip icon that says MPC at the top of the screen. And we're going to select controller mode. And because the MPC software is already open, once the MPC switches to controller mode, it will recognize the software and it will be seamless from there. So anything from here that I do on the MPC will also do the exact same thing on the screen simultaneously. So if I was to go in here and change the instrument to one of the new instruments, say we're going to try out the stage piano. Anything that I do on the MPC X is now reflected inside the MPC software. And that is everything that you need to install the 2.11 update in both standalone and controller mode, whether you're using a Mac, a PC, or you only want to update in standalone. Thanks for watching. Until the next update, you already know, I'm out.